Welcome to the Pal System Kumagaya Center specializing in the handling of chilled grocery products. This center is expecting significant growth in the future and therefore constructed a state-of-the-art distribution center to ensure future capacity for fresh produce. Up to now, the conventional thinking at this type of warehouse operation was to pick in the same sequence of order delivery. Many issues were caused with this method, in particular, significant wait time resulted because all picking operations were being performed on one line. It seemed only natural that we would fulfill orders in sequence, and I really could not think of another way to do things. To resolve those issues at the Kumagaya Center, we completely disregarded conventional thinking. That meant we would pick without regard to order delivery sequence. As part of the final sorting process, we re-sequence orders by delivery. This would not have worked without the multi-shuttle systems. At the Kumigaya Center, we aligned the work of operators with equipment to drastically improve productivity and reduce headcount at the same time. At the Kumigaya Center, goods are received on the first floor and orders are picked on the first and second floors. The orders are then sequenced according to the order of delivery and shipped from the first floor. Let's take a closer look. This is the material that is received in large quantity. The center is not concerned with delivery sequence at all during the picking of items for each order. So material is sent to two pick systems, placing great emphasis on efficiency. The first is the goods to person GTP system. Here is the multi-shuttle system with 12 pick stations on both sides. The material picked into totes are first stored temporarily in the multi-shuttle system. Inside the multi-shuttle system, high-speed shuttles move around inside the system and retrieve according to order requirements. Product to fulfill orders are automatically transported to the pick station. The operator just follows the on-screen instructions, picks the correct number of items, and while inspecting the item, places it in the order tote. Not only has this system reduced the incidence of errors, there is no waiting. As a result, it has been widely adopted by many major online retail stores and e-commerce operations. The second is the Branch Picking Director BPD system. Here, there are four lines where picking is done with the BPD. As the name implies, the pick stations branch off from the main line. This allows the line to flow consistently without waiting. Approximately 24 items can be stored at each workstation. The order tote is transported to the station where the target item to be picked is stored. All the operator has to do is to refer to the lamp next to the screen and on the rack to perform the picking operation. Operators just place items in the order tote in front of them so errors are reduced and the quality of work is significantly improved. Wait time has long been an issue at existing facilities. Not only was there significant wait time, it was unclear to operators whether picking was necessary or not. But by branching without regard to delivery sequence, wait time is significantly reduced. Moreover, the operator no longer hesitates, knowing that the order tote in front of him or her is the one that items need to be picked to. Work that was done with 13 people on a line is now done with seven, a reduction of half the manpower. This greatly contributes to the reduced labor cost. Moreover, to avoid damage, heavier items are sent to GTP stations to be picked first, and lighter items are placed on top when the tote passes through the BPD stations. For extremely long tail items, a separate Super Pick Director SBD line was installed. By picking in front, the burden on operators is greatly reduced. 
As explained, by using a system with multiple picking formats, order totes are sent only to those stations where items are to be picked for an order. As a result, the overall productivity of the center has improved greatly because order totes are no longer unnecessarily routed to lines where picking is not done. A multi-shuttle system at the center is dedicated to sorting orders by delivery sequence. After the picking is complete, the order tote is temporarily stored in a 10-aisle multi-shuttle system where it is sorted by delivery sequence. Overall, the multi-shuttle system can store over 10,000 cases or totes. Dollies are loaded and when ready, prepared for shipment. Utilizing the high-speed retrieval functionality, shuttles and lifts move automatically at high speed to sort orders according to delivery sequence. Spiral conveyors are used to transport material between floors to save space. There are 10 order consolidation lines and five loading points. At this center, consolidation is done in a manner that will allow for an increase in volume in the future. By placing multiple orders in the insulated cases, we have also been able to optimize the volume that can be loaded on trucks. Further automation was achieved by using robotics to stack the insulated cases. Moreover, monitors are installed in the shipping area, making it easy for drivers to locate their shipments. Using this kind of automation and other tools, we found innovative ways to make it easy for drivers to load trucks. What makes this next generation center possible is the warehouse management system. All data at the center is managed in the WMS in real time. This data allows supervisors and managers to see everything that is going on at any time in the center. This contributes to further improvements and optimization of the center toward further productivity gains. By linking with other core systems, progress of orders can be monitored in real time at depots and other facilities. It has also helped support reverse logistics activities. We believe that because operations are very simple and easy to understand, any operator will be able to perform any job with ease in the future. At other centers, because work was discreet, if someone is absent, we have trouble filling their position even though other people are available. If work is easy enough that anyone can perform a function, we can eliminate this issue in the future. Given the current tight labor conditions, we are also considering the use of an AGV to transport items from BPD. We plan to adopt a GTP robot to make further gains in reducing headcount. Any technology to reduce headcount toward full automation is a huge benefit. We believe that by totally restructuring our logistics operations with Kumayai Center leading the way, we can achieve the goal of Health System, which is to improve our service to our co-op members. The number of co-op members is not only increasing but their needs are changing. And in order for us to beat the competition, we want to be able to increase the number of items we handle while improving the quality of service. And by developing an infrastructure that supports the co-op membership, our business will grow and we can turn around and add more new services. I think our infrastructure is poised to help us achieve that goal. Kumalaya Center, the next generation center. We believe that this chilled center will play an integral role in meeting future growth in demand.